Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Gems of the Southeast road trip. We are out here at Rye Harbor Nature Reserve. Um, this is part of the Romney Marsh wildlife area. Um, very vital salt marsh habitat for uh, local wildlife, for um, a yeah, huge variety of marsh harriers, uh, violet blue gloss, um, which is a very bee friendly flower. They absolutely love it. So it's definitely a species that we need to make sure that we are taking care of. That didn't take care of our bees, it then take care of us. So we're gonna do a um, moderately decent loop today. It's beautiful trails, no mud, perfect weather, and absolutely stunning scenery, even if it isn't the mountains. So this area, along with Dungeness Nature Reserve, which is back that way a few miles, uh, is one of the largest vegetated shingle, natural shingled areas, um, I believe in the UK. I didn't double check whether it was UK or the world, but um, it's very unique habitat. It doesn't come up, you don't find it in too many places. When I say shingled habitat, I'm talking about this stuff behind me right here. So it looks, like it's just been graveled, it looks like just like it's a beach, but it's actually a very specific kind of habitat that supports a very specific diverse range of species. Um, and that's why it's, why it's so important to preserve places like this as a nature reserve. So as we walk through this landscape, um, all these lagoons that you see behind us that we walked by um, were all created by the extraction, or most of them were created um, by the extraction of the gravel and shingle for the building industry. And now the shingle was originally deposited here by the sea, uh, but these natural lagoons, or not natural lagoons, um, came about because of the extraction of that gravel. And then, um, but the nature reserve itself created a lot of these little islands that you see which create great nesting habitat for things like black-headed gulls um, and a rare breed in the UK are Mediterranean gulls which have a pure black head whereas a black-headed gull has a brown head um, and they were recorded as nesting here for the first time in the year 2000 which tells you how prime of a natural habitat this is for some of these gulls for nesting and raising their families. And it might not look like much, but this really is valuable habitat. All right, so you can kind of see back over the nature reserve from here back up behind us would be Canberra Castle. Now we're kind of doing a short route today. It's quite busy. Uh, it's also really, really warm out here. And I only brought a half a liter of water for the dogs. Uh, but the trail network is quite extensive. Like we only came a short way. Visitors car park is over there, but it extends all the way over that direction. So plenty of scope for exploration. Um, and I would definitely come spend some time here, but I would say probably best to spend some time here when there's not many other people so either early morning late evening um, and come check it out at that point so we're gonna go down to the beach but I don't foresee it being particularly spectacular in comparison with what we've seen on other days So 
So what I'm standing in front of right here is um, basically where Rye Harbour flows out. And even though it sort of looks in some ways that it's flowing in, you can also see that it's flowing out. So you can guarantee that there was one hell of an undercurrent underneath that. It would definitely not be safe to swim in. Not that I would, but um, sometimes the calmest waters hold the most dangers. So just across the way here, we can see Camber Sands, which is a hugely, hugely popular beach. Beautiful, expansive, wide open white sand. Looks quite busy today, but in reality, this is not packed at all. I can only imagine what it looks like in the summer holidays. Not a place I'd want to go hang out. So it looks like what we're coming up on is a World War II, World War I bunker. Let's go check it out. is a little better than the pillboxes that they would have had in, you know, up on the North Downs. It's a little bit more spacious but a lot less protected too. What a view out there. You can see that. So there's no information on the outside of this, but one would guess that they had um, machine guns or large guns mounted on these tables. They've all got um, these divots right here in them where they also had a tripod and been mounted um, to protect from the German invasion. And it would have been quite harsh out here, but definitely not as harsh as on the northeast coast. something you might want to think about checking out while you're here which I didn't step into is these bird hides uh, get you out over the water a little bit closer to the birds but definitely worth stopping in a good pair of binoculars or a good camera all right thought we were coming to the end of the walk and we are but on the way back I know it's big round old building that I'm assuming is either from World War II, World War I, or maybe even slightly earlier than that. But I'll just grab a take a quick look at that. Um, well, it doesn't look very busy, everybody else is out on the wall, but I want to check out what this is. All right, so what this is, is the Martello Tower. Um, that is literally all the information that is on the sign. And I'll see if I can put some information up below. That tells you a little bit more about it. All right, well, I'll tell you, it's actually probably easier to find parking spaces of the night, the night in the southeast than it ever was in the southwest when I was in Cornwall. That was quite tough, but anyway. This is where we're at for the night. Just about to get the car ready. Um, we're not that far from Rye um, and Battle, where the Battle of Hastings took place. I think it was actually that battle that took place um, back in 1066. Looks like the Abbey grounds might be open, but I'm gonna have to check on that. Um, and we'll see if we can maybe go in there tomorrow, but I know the actual Abbey itself isn't, so we'll check it out. Um, but other than that, we've got some other things we're going to do tomorrow and we're going to go ahead and get set up for the night. Uh, so here we are. We're all set up for the night. Beer included, dinner included. But there's bed. And as cozy it is too. It got down, I think, one degree last night and I stayed incredibly warm. As long as I didn't get any gaps. Alright, so I'm just going to sit in here, chill, chill here for the night. Um, I haven't had many evenings where I've just been able to enjoy the weather, kick back, sit sit down, relax um, for the evening. I've always had to sort of wait um, on people to clear out, but so far this seems to be one of the better ones. Anyway, so yeah, that's all we're gonna do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today. Um, and if you got any questions about the car, I'll put a link up here. Um, and uh, as you can see, I also added some, some uh, 
window shades but anyway yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today and as always thanks for watching guys